Clean hydrogen is considered a very important decarbonization agent in many industries, particularly those tough to decarbonize market segments where electrification is hard. However, hydrogen needs to be produced cleanly at a low cost and delivered to market. And the, the key here is the infrastructure. Uh, natural gas is a terrific carrier for hydrogen. Uh, methane, the predominant content of natural gas is CH4. So it's largely carrying hydrogen in it with the carbon molecule providing the bond that holds it together. And at Econa, we think the natural gas infrastructure is the key to delivering clean hydrogen to industry in Canada and abroad. Natural gas pipeline networks move natural gas and within it hydrogen to industry all over North America. LNG is produced for global export in ways that deliver uh, high energy density, energy to economies in Japan and Korea and, and across the world. And we see that infrastructure as a key to delivering clean hydrogen to market. And at our, at our company, at Econa, we believe leveraging that infrastructure is the key to driving quick change, high impact, GHG abatement globally. We're developing uni a unique technology called methane pyrolysis that takes natural gas or methane and breaks it into its constituents, carbon, solid carbon, and hydrogen. And because this technology doesn't require water feedstock or clean electricity or CO2 a sequestration infrastructure, we can deploy this technology anywhere, enabling us to build a technology solution that builds off of the existing natural gas infrastructure, deploys that clean energy solution at the customer site, and therefore, thereby uh, accelerate change, decarbonization, and new technologies in industry. So we're really excited about the opportunity for methane pyrolysis and for partnering with the natural gas industry. Econa Power was founded in 2017, largely on the strength of an investment made by Suncor Energy and Sonovus Energy. They saw the value of methane pyrolysis as a technology that can decarbonize their upstream emissions, their operations. And with their investment, we were able to strike partnerships with government funding agencies, groups like NGIF, who saw the value too, and helped us build the technology in our laboratory to prove the concept. Since then, we've closed a Series A financing round last year in 2022, where we brought new investors to the table, companies like Baker Hughes and Mitsui and ConocoPhillips, Transalta, Arc Resources, NGIF and others, many others, several others, who all come to us from what I would say then is the oil and gas space. They come to us with this strategic interest in our technology as a way to decarbonize their operations and to decarbonize the product that they deliver to market, which is natural gas. And so we were, we're delighted to have completed that round, brought in all these great you know, investors and partners, and um, we're excited about the opportunity. The technology we're developing is a novel methane pyrolysis reactor that breaks natural gas apart into its constituents, solid carbon and hydrogen. And by doing that, it reduces the greenhouse gas emiss emissions associated with producing hydrogen. And that's the key. The other thing that's key is we're developing a, a reactor that's really driven by combustion, and that's unique in the industry. And by developing a reactor in that way, we're able to minimize electricity consumption and make something that's highly scalable for industry and low cost, which is really the key to rapid deployment. And so we're developing this technology in our lab. We've scaled it to a pilot uh, scale reactor, a 200 kilogram per day reactor. This year, we're testing that system in our laboratory. And next year, we'll put our very first field unit in the field with a customer in Alberta. So we're very excited about all of that. But the real key here is the technology's ability to drive low cost hydrogen, clean hydrogen that can be scalable for industry. And, and that is the key. And because methane pyrolysis doesn't require water or electricity or CO2 infrastructure, it can be deployed anywhere. And I want to reemphasize the importance of collaborating with the natural gas industry LNG production and distribution as the mechanism and infrastructure for delivering that hydrogen to market. And the, and the methane pyrolysis technology we're developing is really the key that unlocks it at the customer site.
providing clean hydrogen and solid carbon for applications in energy and industry. Well, I've been attending uh, the Canada Gas and LNG conference for years. I think this is my fourth or fifth year attending, and I've always really enjoyed it. And uh, for me, it's it's a conference that brings all of the the key stakeholders in in the natural gas and LNG industry together, and really provides a map of the industry. What is where is the industry today? Where is it going? And um, you know, it's kind of kind of nice to have all of that under one roof. And so I found this conference to be very informative and uh, I really recommend it. The other thing that's really interesting and exciting about the conference is it brings new ideas to the table, new ideas on how we can decarbonize energy, natural gas and the delivery of chemical fuels to market. And, you know, we feel our technology is right at the heart of that. So we're really excited about participating again this year at the conference. And the last thing I'll say is come to beautiful Vancouver. Um, you know, Vancouver in the spring is a beautiful place to be and there, I can't think of a nicer conference to attend than this one. So please come on out and I look forward to seeing you there.